All right, what's going on? Monday, May, March 23rd. Um, it is day eight of this unprecedented quarantine. It is day six of school mist. Excuse me. Monday morning. Um, miss all you uh, Miss all of you, or I miss all of y'all, and I hope you're doing okay. And uh, so here we go. It is day eight. And for day eight, I saw this number uh, eight, which reminded me of Kobe. So I went and grabbed a few of my Kobe things, which I have many of. And this is one of my favorite things. It is a Kobe Bryant rookie card. It's one of his, in my opinion, it's his best rookie card. There's several of them. Um, but I always wanted this. I got this a couple years ago. Uh, this was a set. It was a card set. You know, I like sports cards. It was a 42 card set. It was limited edition. I got this a, uh, maybe a year and a half ago. So, I mean, I got all this before, you know, before January uh, when he died. And then I have his little bobblehead here, Kobe. Uh, so, anyhow, that's how we'll start the show. Day eight. Stay safe. I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, that being said, let's, let's jump right to the coronavirus update. So, let's, instead of talking about what's going on here... Well, let's start with that. This week's going to be a little bit harder for for many for many reasons. Number one, you're going to see the the cases rise. So right now, I believe we're at about when well, we've already seen the cases rise. From I want to say we were probably at six thousand last week this time, and today we're at sixty thousand cases. My guess is uh, it's forty thousand. So we went from from six to 40 and my guess is by the next week this time we'll be at a hundred thousand and let me just confirm that it's six and and uh, there's forty thousand uh anyhow the positive side of this is in wuhan where this got really really bad the documentary which is um linked on your class dojo it was handed out last week i shared it with you last week uh it showed how bad it got and it showed that it went this way and then it went this way. Then it quickly, and as of this four or five days ago, there have been zero cases every day reported in Wuhan. Zero. So let's just read this article real quick. Wuhan coronavirus in China has begun to loosen its two-month lockdown. Okay, so they, they went started lockdown January 23rd. January 23rd, they started lockdown. <sighs> Sorry, I've been watching a lot of... the. the um, a lot of politics going on right now with all this. Anyhow, they started January 23rd. You fast forward to now March 23rd, and they are starting to loosen restrictions. They got real strict, though. They they were quarantined. They did not leave their house. They, they On Monday, small groups of residents in the central Chinese city were leaving their houses, going to grocery stores, and walking along the streets for the first time in weeks. At the weekend, the first train arrived in the city with a thousand workers from elsewhere. So finally people are starting to see going back to work, but they were not working for two months. On Sunday, authorities said um, residents could begin returning to work if they did not have a temperature and could provide a green health code, signifying virus free. Uh, they went into, they went into very stringent travel restrictions went into effect January 23rd, could also begin applying to leave the city. So people that were there couldn't leave. Uh, and now it sounds like, so they were, people that were visiting could not leave for two months. They were stuck there. That's happening right now. I'm still trying to find this. Uh, sorry, no, I'm just looking at it. I know that one's outdated. Trying to make sure it's 40,000. We'll, we'll Google it later. I'm almost positive it's 40,000 at the moment. And again, it will just, this week's going to be rough on Americans because, and elsewhere in the world, uh, it's week two with some people without having have worked. You know, bartenders, servers. Uh, I know some of our parents that, you know, some of your parents work at casinos. Casinos have been shut down. Uh, so, what are they doing for, for money? You know, so and then on the flip side, I was talk, talk, saying there's a lot of politics. Some point this week, uh, a stimulus package, which is given to people to help stimulate the economy, to help br get it going, you know. Uh, but a lot of people are, are they're going to get paychecks, hopefully. But a lot of people are going to have to use that money to pay rent, to 
buy food. So it, it's and again, the numbers are going to rise this week. So, um, you know, but the positive is this Wuhan article. The positive is, is that if we do quarantine, if we do, it's proven they they proved how to beat it. You know, they proved that. And now people are starting to go back to work and it wasn't four weeks. So I just want to prepare you for that four weeks. We're supposed to go back to school in three weeks now. Uh, you know, I, I hope to see you all there. Reality is, this is a brand new thing for all of us. The last time a pandemic happened like this, 1918. So unless you're 102 years old, you never lived this. And even if you are 110, which I don't, I don't know how many there are of that, you were eight when that happened. So anyhow, that's enough of the coronavirus. I'm sure you've heard enough of it over the past week. Do treat it, you know, semi, semi serious. Make sure you're washing your hands. Make sure you're not going out a bunch, uh, or, or at least you can go out. I don't think you're supposed to be in, in groups of people, right? So that's our coronavirus news. I just want to remind you that you can get food at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. at Spring Valley High School uh, Buff on Buffalo Drive. That's the closest one. Uh, here's a bunch more, and if I were to if, there's some more. So if I scroll up and down, it sometimes messes with the sound. But just want to remind you, Spring Valley High, 8 and 11. Also, I've seen a lot of other businesses. I don't know how long they'll do it for, uh, but they've offered at certain times um, to give food to students as well. So uh, just keep your, your ears open. If, if you see, I, I shared some with you last week. I think Aloha Kitchen was one that's staying open. Um <clears throat> Stacks and Yolks, I think, is another one if they're still open. All right. Well, I miss. I it's it's weird. It's been a week. It's weird. It's been a week uh, that I haven't seen you. And uh, so, anyhow, share videos with your classmates. The coronavirus update. The food. So let's quickly go to Google Classroom. Um, so people are asking about Google Classroom. So basically, it's just like as if you were in class. You log into Google. When you're in class, you log into Google Class. Your your Google Chromebooks. You're already on Google, uh, but you just log into Google, and then you can go. And I've I put some things up here. Not only can you do Google Classroom, you can now log into Prodigy. You can now log into Typing.com. Uh, if you don't have access to the internet, uh, or if if you don't if you don't have a way to do this stuff, Typing.com. Maybe there's no computer in the house or Chromebook. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. What I'd like you to do is read a lot, you know, read. You can also write. Um, there, there's, you know, pencil and paper. There's no reason you can't write. There's no reason you can't practice uh, some of the math problems I give on this video on paper uh, and read and write. And going back to that, here are some of your options. Prodigy for an hour, Khan Academy. Read, read, read. Uh, do some research and write about it. Nitro type. Sorry, I got the burps. You all know that. Excuse me. And the daily diary. So what happened in your day? How are you feeling? What happened in your city to the people you know? What happened in the country or world today? So those are all nice things to do. You don't need uh, the internet or, or online access to do your daily diary or to do uh, some research or read a book or write. If you do have the internet, I recommend logging into Google Classroom. So this today we shared, you saw on Friday, I shared a little bit of math. Thursday shared some math. This is our Birchbrook house book that we were reading. So if you click this, you see I put the YouTube link and it reads it. It also follow, it, it put, you can even read with it. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, I know some of you read up to chapter six or maybe even the whole book last week. So keep that going. Uh, let's see. Today, Mrs. Weigel has a math problem for everyone. She said she'll give the answer on Friday. That math problem is here. So if you were to click that link, it would open this, a jar of coins. I keep a jar on my dresser for collecting the coins. I find when I empty my pockets. This morning, I counted my coins and found out the following. One-fifth of the coins in my jar are dimes. I'd be writing down one-fifth. Dimes. One sixth are nickels. One sixth nickels. One tenth are quarters. One tenth 
quarters. And a quarter is 25 cents. Anyhow, that might not matter. The rest are pennies. The total value is $3.52. How many of each coin do I have? There's even extra. And tell how you got that answer. That's a tough question. It's going to take you some time. I believe you can do it, but you have to be organized in writing everything down. I went to the bank and got the coin wrappers. It takes $10 worth of quarters to fill a quarter wrapper. $5 worth of dimes to fill a dime wrapper, like those little rolls. And two dollars worth of nickels to fill a nickel wrapper, and fifty cents of pennies to fill a penny wrapper. How many more of each coin do I need before I can fill each wrapper? So that would be after you figure out the first part of the question. So you could pause this video to keep it up. You can also join Google Classroom, which you're already a part of. It's your email address and your password, and you just click this link, and they'll take you right there. The other thing. Is Mr. Jernigan shared some art, and I know a lot of you love the art. So here are three videos on YouTube regarding art for children. The first two are basic draw. He also linked a fun short geography game that uses Google Earth. Um, and again, if you click this one, uh, it's based on a Netflix animated Carmen San Diego. Some of that cut off. But anyhow, you just click these links, and they will send you to Mr. Jernigan's um, some of the things he's um, linked to do some art at home, and uh, they're pretty simple and easy for home. Uh, you see Mrs. Weigel's math. So I don't have a math for you today, but it'll be that Mrs. Weigel's question. Uh, and then, a matter of fact, I did have one math. For you. It's also a little bit of a, a riddle. What can you put between seven and eight so that the result is greater than seven, but less than eight? And if you use the little picture there, that's a big hint, kind of like a hoot. So what can you put between seven and eight? So the result is greater than seven, but less than eight. Finally, I do have another riddle. I will share the answer with this to tomorrow's video, uh, but I will do the daily riddle from now on. And I'll always share the answer tomorrow, the next video. What is always in front of you, but can't be seen? What is always in front of you? but cannot be seen. So I hope everyone's doing okay. I've gotten some, some nice messages from parents and students on the videos and staying in touch. That makes me feel good. Uh, and here we go, week two starts. I hope you're all doing okay, not only to my students, but to your parents as well. It's gonna be a weird week for a, a lot of America. And uh, I'm 100% that that stimulus package will pass. Uh, it's just a matter of when and how and who. Uh, so be expecting a little bit of relief on the way. But again, who knows when this ends? Uh, everything I, I research and see that in three weeks probably won't be enough time. So the first week seemed like a camp out, but it's just going to become a little more odd and weird not to be leaving your house. Make sure you're exercising. Make sure you're eating somewhat healthy. The, um, so the better we can keep our mind through this weird time uh, is for the best. So anyways, I know Mrs. Thornton says hi. I know Mrs. Weigel uh, says hi. And uh, I've only had communication with uh, so many people. But uh, have a great week. I'll make another video tomorrow. Last thing on the agenda, each week I will post our leaderboard uh, which you can't see because my face is there, but you see only four people logged in. That's okay. Uh, four is better than zero. And by the way, it's exactly like I said, Zach is at the top of that leaderboard and Zach is our best person in math. Lexi, way to go, Lexi. That Please play more. If you have the opportunity to play more, oh my goodness. Amir, Gabriel, shout outs. Uh, I will do this leaderboard every week. You see the top person. Good luck the rest of the way. See you soon. Hope we talk very soon.